Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to today's live class. My name is Rebecca Zostek. I'm a certified health coach, personal trainer, and fitness instructor here for our Hogue Health Center in Foothill Ranch, California with our lifestyle program. So thank you so much everyone for logging on and being with me this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. Uh, and you are ready to get started with our class today and it is improving your stability and strength. So with this class, uh, we'll go through a series of dynamic movement through the joints, your hip joints mostly, shoulder joints, knees, ankles, um, just to get those joints to be more mobile. And of course, when, when, when we're more mobile, we have better stability. Um, and in addition, a little bit of core work because the core is our centerpiece, right? It's our, it's our main uh, stability focus. So we wanna make sure that we are getting some core work uh, today also, and normally with each class. So please do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, it's amazing how much we've grown. Uh, this, this YouTube channel has just grown with so many more subscribers. So we really appreciate you being here. Please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that way you get the notification 30 minutes before any class, lecture, food demonstration, whatever, so that you can get yourself prepared and uh, get ready for that lecture or workout. So today's class, what we're going to need, um, a chair. I like to use a chair normally to um, provide that stability. But today, guess what everybody, today we are going to do some exercises while seated. Yes, we're going to really focus on some hip joint movement and being supported by sitting down. So we'll do a little bit sitting down, but you know, primarily with this class, we're working on uh, balance. So we want to make sure that we are standing for most of the class. Also, I do have a small set of weights there. That's three pounds. Um, you can use one pound, two pounds. You can use some wrist weights. You can use two cans of whatever you have in your pantry. Um, whatever you have to put a little bit more load on those muscles so they work a little bit harder. That's always a great thing. Um, all right, so let's see who I have. Orange County's in the house. Good morning. Uh, so a nice little group. Thank you, thank you, you guys, everybody, <laughs> uh, for being with me this morning. All right, so let's warm up. I have some music ready to go. And just make sure that you do have a little bit of working space. Uh, you have some shoes on, comfortable shoes, and you feel mobile and ready to go. So let's get going. Oh, let's get going. ready? You're standing up. You're ready to go? Great job. Okay, let's march it out right here. Nice and easy. I remember this song. Very much used to go dancing at the clubs. <laughs> okay. Nice, easy march. We're just going to move forward and back. Notice I have my legs a little bit wide. Okay, that's so you have better stability. Bigger base and more support. Stay here now. Tap side to side. Nice and easy. Just, just have fun with it. Nice and easy. Four more. Three. A little uh, situation going on out there. <sighs> okay, everything's fine. Here we go. Big reach. Side to side. Okay, everything's fine. Yeah, no worries. Sometimes the children, they like to run around this place because it's so nice. <laughs> Take it across. Here we go. Big reach. Okay. I know it's a little bit, you know, quick tempo here. Let's take it a little bit slower. Now we go reach and down. Reach and down. Yes. There you go. Down to the side. We go stretch. Good, and hold. Nice big inhale here, and exhale. Just getting that body a little bit more warm. And exhale one more time. Now hold it up. Exhale, bring your arms forward right here. So from here, I want you to just pull your arms away from you, widen your back, and come back up, and back away. Good, and relax. Taking your left arm up now. Big side stretch. Hold it here, and back down, other side, nice big side stretch, good, now you're going to place your hands right back behind you, open up your chest, just standing with nice posture, pulling the shoulders back, 
back three times. And two. And one. Reverse. Three. Two. And one. Good. Let's open the legs a little bit more wide. Come on down. You're going to take your left shoulder and just kind of drop it down. Getting a nice little rotation here in your core. Warming it up. And other side. And center and rolling up. We're just going to circle the arms back. Nice big open arms here. There you go. Oh, rotate back. Let's reverse now. Coming forwards as if you're in the pool and you're swimming. Big arm movement. There you go. Does that feel nice? One more each side. And rest. Good. Let's bring the legs a little bit closer together, about shoulder uh, width apart, hands on your waist, and all you're going to do is lift one heel up at a time. If you need to hold on to something, please do so. Just lifting, working through the ankle joint. Here. Up. Up. Watch out, I'm going to go a little bit faster. So it's up, switch, switch. Okay. Go a little bit faster now. Just moving those feet back and forth, up and down. Four more. Three, two, and one. And hold. All right, you stay right there. Let me turn this down a little bit. That was fun. Nice song. Okay, now I'd like you to do a calf raise. So I'm going to bring my chair a little bit over here, a little closer. Wherever you want to stand, if you want both hands on your chair or the kitchen counter, whatever suits you, it's all great, okay? So what we're going to do is our calf raise, working through, again, the ankle joints and the knees are just slightly bent. I'd like you to pull your hips forward, open up your chest, okay? And we're going to come up onto the toes and then slowly back down. Now notice I'm keeping my legs a little bit bent here. I'm just lifting and lowering. Lifting and and lowering. We're not actually rising all the way up quite yet. Okay, so we're starting off a little bit slower here with just the heel raises off the floor. Keep trying that. Keeping the abs pulling in tight. Open up your chest. And let's try that two more times. And one more. And now you're going to go up and we're going to hold it up. So right here, you're holding on. Okay, we're holding on. Stay there. Let's see if you can rise up onto the tippy toes. Straighten out the legs and then land. So we're going to do that a few times. Let me turn sideways a little bit. Would that help? I think so. Okay. So legs are bent. Keep your chest lifted. Lift the heels off. Straighten the legs and come down. Bend the legs. Lift the heels. Rise up and down. So again, we're working through the, a little bit through the knee joint, through the ankles, through the calf muscles. Okay, mostly. Let's try a couple more. Nice long spine, keeping that chest up and open. And rest. Okay, I think we're quite ready now for the calf raises. So here we go with your legs a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So if my hip, if my feet are right underneath my hips, here I am. I go a little bit tiny tiny more out than I'm here to have a better base of support, okay? So here we go, up and down. Now, the legs stay straight. You're squeezing your hips inwards, keeping the belly tight, and open up the chest. So that means we're not down this way, okay? We're keeping the chest up and open. There we go, let's try four more. Straight up, four, three, two, and a one. Great job, everybody. Just shake out those legs. So far, so good. We're going to continue with another calf raise exercise, okay? Very important. So we're going to line up the feet tandem. So that is heel to toe in a straight line as if you're on a tight wire, okay? No space between the feet. But if we do need a little bit more support, what are we going to do? We're going to separate the legs a little bit more, okay? So you have more stability. The closer we come in, the less stability. The more space we take, 
the better stability, right? Okay, so we want to think about that. Here we go, tandem. We're coming up onto the toes. Now, <laughs> make sure your back toe isn't hooking onto your front heel. So make sure there's a, just a tiny bit of space, otherwise we're not going to be able to go anywhere. Here we go, and lifting up and down. Up and down. I'll turn the music off here in a moment. But what I want you to think about now is imagine if you were to let go of your chair, of your support. Okay, what that's going to be like. So you can imagine that first, and then start making adjustments to make sure you're safe. So I'm pulling in the belly, breathing, relaxing the shoulders so we're not trying to lift with our shoulders. Okay, good job everybody. Ooh, we're, we're feeling this now. Okay, one more time, up you go, and down. Now we're gonna go up and stay up. Okay, so imagine, Maybe some of you want to imagine a ballerina, like, you know, you're in that little ballerina pose, okay? If not, we're just right here. All right, so let's see if we can let go of the chair for two, one, and down slow. Yes, I count very, very slow. <laughs> okay, let's do the other foot in front. So if you had your right foot in front, then you're just gonna switch it. Uh, so let me turn the music off here now, everybody. So I'll get too distracted. We'll move these out of the way for now. Okay, so now we have the opposite foot in front. And let's just think about everything. So when we're working on balance and stability, we want to be mindful of specifically our posture. So I'm always going to give you those reminders. And I'm sorry if I'm repetitive, but I'm just giving you those reminders because we need to practice. And most of the time, you know, we're not really conscious about our posture or thinking about it. So I want to give you those cues, so making sure that our shoulders are pulled back, chest is always lifted up, the belly is pulling in, okay? And now we're just going to lift up and down, okay? Straight up towards the ceiling. And you're probably going to feel the back leg, the back calf muscle working a little bit harder, okay? So that's all right, because we already got the other side pretty good. Up and down. Working on strengthening those calf muscles. Good, and you're probably feeling maybe too the hips are activating here a little bit to help keep you stable. Let's try three more here. Straight up three, and down two. Good, one more. Up you go. Down, now get ready. We're gonna go back up, we're gonna stay up right here. Please keep holding on to something if you really need to. Make sure you're always safe, okay? So here we are. And now if you're ready to let go of the chair, you can give that a try. Now, I'm squeezing inner thighs, I'm squeezing my hips, my abdominals are pulling in, everything is turned on and working. Here we, are, here we go. Now we're gonna hold the pose for three, two, and one, and coming down. All right, how's everybody do with that one? Hmm, okay, I know you did a great job, I know you did. All right, so as I mentioned in the beginning of the class, if you just popped on and you didn't see the beginning, um, I mentioned that we are gonna be doing a few exercises sitting down, just a few, okay? So we can concentrate on um, not only posture, but some hips, and we really work on developing that strength. So what I'd like you to do is have a seat. Don't get too relaxed now. You're sitting right at the edge of your chair. And I want you to think of a nice long spine. So from your tailbone to the top of your head, a nice straight, nice long line. So we're not, you know, um, sitting with that posture, you know, our shoulders are pulled forward and our gut is going. So we want to keep everything active. So here you are. And you can either hold on to the bottom of the chair and what kind of chair you're using. If you have arms, uh, arm chairs, you can hold on to the arms. So wherever you can hold on, and all we're gonna do are some knee lifts. So as you're holding on, you're gonna activate these hip flexors, and we're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So here, simple little exercise, but we have a lot going on actually, right? We're concentrating on standing or sitting, <laughs> see I'm so used to standing, sitting upright, shoulders are back, shoulders are back, there we go. And we're gonna try four more. Three, now listen, two. Keep your left knee up right here. Left knee up, good. And all you're gonna do is take it out to the side, bring it forward and down. Up to 
to the side, forward and down. Okay, so what do we have now? We have, this is a great modification when I'm doing this exercise standing. And if you've been with me a while, you've seen when I'm standing on one leg, I lift the knee, I take the leg out to the side and we come back. That's usually one of our staple exercises. But here I'm showing you that you can still do this sitting down and working on that hip strength. Watch out, one more. And down, relax. We're gonna work the same leg, but now we have a little bit more rotation. We're gonna do a little knee circle. So sitting tall, abs are tight, shoulders back. We lift the left leg, and now we're just gonna draw a circle with our foot. Okay, so imagine you're drawing a circle. The leg goes out to the side and back to the front, to the side, to the front. Okay, and try four more. Ooh, three, two, and now reverse it. Bring it in and back to the side. Good. Keep it going. It's almost like you're riding a bike. Okay. Keep the leg going. And four, three, two, one. And relax. Wow, did you feel that work? Okay, good job, everybody. Now let's try the other side. So now it's your right leg. We're gonna bring the knee up. Remember, you're sitting up nice and tall, abs are tight. Lift the knee up, take it out to the side, bring it back and down. Lift it up to the side, back and down. Okay, so we're working on that hip mobility. We want the hip to be active. Yes, and back. Okay, did I go all the way down? I don't remember. So here we go. Let's just try a few more. About four more. One, bring it back. Two, you're doing so great. Stay with me. Three, <sighs> breathing, and four, and bring it back. Good. And now we're going to do the rotation. So get ready for that. Sitting tall. Okay, everybody's doing great. Here we go. The knee comes up, and we're going to draw the circle with the foot. Two, to the side, the leg goes. Okay, three, four. Five, give me three more times. Get ready. <sighs> Breathing. And now reverse. If you need a moment, take a moment and then go to the other or the reverse direction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Ooh. All right, let's shake out those legs a little bit. All right, our next exercise. Um, super important when we're working on leg strength. You know, unfortunately, as we age, we lose the leg strength very, very quickly. So uh, we do want to practice some leg strength exercises. And with this exercise, I'm just going to walk you through it. I want you to practice and just progressively do little by little, getting more range of motion. So I'm going to start with a very short range of motion. You can just come with me. What we want to do is a uh, seated to stand up exercise. So you need to be at the edge of your chair, okay? Your legs are wide, keep your chest lifted, and I want you to just kind of lean forward, lean forward. I want you to push weight in your heels. Can you push the weight in your heels? Yes, and now we're reaching forward, okay? And come back, let's just practice that. What am I doing? I'll show you in a moment. So you're gonna reach forward, you're pushing weight in your heels, and then you're gonna try to lift your bum and come right back. Remember, I'm doing this progressively. Lean forward, weights in the heels, keep your chest lifted, reach out, reach out, keep reaching, keep reaching, lift your rear, come all the way up, and then same thing, you're going to reach out, hips go back behind you, and sit down, okay? Let's practice a few of those, here we go, so remember, your legs are wide, you're dropping your chest, because gravity's going to pull on the chest, your arms, extending your arms here, you're allowing gravity to pull even more so. Okay, so we want gravity on our side for this. Reaching out, push your weight into your heels as you come up. Okay, and reaching and sitting back. Here we go, keep practicing. You don't have to keep the tempo with me, but just keep practicing. And here we go, we'll just try a couple more. Reach and push. Good. And here we go, another one. Reach and push. Good. And have a seat. Okay, sitting down. Our next one on the chair, or having an exercise.
exercise that we're using the chair sitting down is rotation and working through the core. And then we're going to stand and do the rest, rest of the exercises standing. Okay, so what we're going to do is rotation, first of all. Now, I'm going to have my hands up, but if you'd rather keep them down, you can do that, all right? So whatever, if you have shoulder, um, some shoulder issues and you'd rather not lift your arms, you don't have to do that. But we're going to have the hands here behind your head sitting tall, abs are tight. I want you to think of your center as maybe a wet towel. You know when you take a towel and you just twist it to get all the water out? All right, so that's what we wanna kind of think about. We're twisting, getting all the water out, twisting, twisting, and coming back. Okay, and here you go. Just a nice little rotation. Just go wherever is um, good for you. Don't try to over-rotate. And what I mean by that is that you're just kind of throwing it out like that, okay? We don't want that. So go slow, twist out that core, and come back. And twist, and come back. One more time over here. And rest, good. Now, open up the legs a little bit. Last one with the core. We're just gonna go side to side, reaching down for your heels. Side to side. Such a great exercise here, working on your oblique muscles, okay, to get that reach. And sometimes when we don't have much mobility in our core or our obliques, what tends to happen with this is a, a reach down sometimes, okay, sometimes it's a dropping the chest forward, but I'd like you to try to stay in the same plane, we're going side to side. Okay, like a rainbow, from one side of the rainbow to the other side of the rainbow. Okay, just keep trying. Here we go. And four, three, two, one, and done. Two great exercises for your core. You can practice those anytime, every day. That'd be great. Okay, everybody up off the chair now. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, let's do a little bit of work with our weights, working on upper body strength. So let's go ahead and grab those guys. And I'm going to just have you stand nice and secure. So we're not balancing at all here. Your legs are wide to give you a nice base of support. And we're going to do a multi-joint exercise. So we're going to come up for a bicep curl. Then you're going to come up to the bicep or up to the shoulders. We're going to push up and down, and then we start over. So notice I have my palms up here. They come up to the shoulders, down. They come up to the shoulders, and the palms turn inward and push up. And then we start again. All right, here we go. A bicep. Come down to the shoulders and push. Yes, yes. Good, I love multi-joint exercises here, elbows and shoulders, because you can get a lot of work out of one little exercise. And push, breathe, inhale, exhale. Good, let's try two more, pull in, push up. This is nice, because we have our pull, and then we have our push. Rest. Nice work, nice work. Our next exercise, we're going to do a little punching work. So this is for our front shoulders and our chest. So you want your weights right here as if you're getting ready to do a little boxing. And you're just going to do a frontal jab just like that. The palm comes down. You can also do this without any weights. If you don't have any weights, it's still good. You just do that punch, okay? So let's try that. And here we go. So it's a punch forward, punch forward. Now we want to anchor down those legs, okay? Anchor down those legs so those legs are not moving around. Keep yourself nice and tight, okay? Nice and tight. Yes. Okay, good work. Give me four more and there's four. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, here comes the challenge now. We're gonna set one weight down, one weight down. And we are going to practice standing on one leg now. Okay, everybody good? Are you still with me? Is everybody still with me? Hello. Nice. Thank you, everybody. Okay, here's what we're going to do. 
you are going to be holding on to whatever you're holding on to. Your left leg is going to be lifted a little bit. Anytime you need to put that foot down, please put that foot down. I don't want you to feel too challenged, okay? But we have the foot up a little bit. For those of you that are a little bit more advanced, you can bring the knee up higher in this position, okay? You're going to feel the supporting leg getting fatigued. It's gonna get fatigued. So if you need to come down out of that, that's fine. Okay, we're not gonna be there too long, I promise. So here we go, we have the left leg lifted, all right? All you're gonna do with your left arm is bring it out to the side and right back down. Okay, so here we go, let's go, we're working. Working on that balance, see if you can, if you're a little bit more advanced, if you can let go of your chair for a few seconds. If not, do not do not attempt, okay? Work on your posture, pull in your belly in. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh yeah, I'm coming out of balance here myself. Let's do two more, here we go. Up for one, and two. Okay, let's do the other side. I'm going to lift my heavy chair over here and standing on that one leg and please if you have any questions about these exercises um, or if you have suggestions and different things you'd like me to do please let me know in the comments below okay don't be shy go ahead and let me know here we go up and down everybody up and down training that body to know right away when it is in a compromised position, okay, when it's like not normal, and it has to turn on all these muscle fibers to make sure you're safe and stable. Yes, that's what we're training it to do. Good job. Let's try three more. And up three, and two, and one, and rest, okay. Great work. I'm going to go back now to the other side. Of course, you don't have to move your chair. You just can listen and turn around. You're fine. Okay, now what we're going to do is a little bit more hip work. Remember, we did this exercise when we were sitting down with the knee coming up and down and around. But this time, all I want you to do is lift the leg out to the side. Lift out to the side. And what are we doing with the weight? I'll show you here in a second. Okay? So we're just holding on to the weight. I'd like you to stand nice and tall. Your right leg is slightly bent, okay? It's never locked. Slightly bent, and we're gonna push the leg away, okay? Now, I'm just holding the weight against my leg here. It does give it a little bit more uh, resistance to push up and getting the hip to activate a little bit more, okay? Yes, if it's gotta lift a little heavier weight, it's gonna activate more. We like that. Okay, watch out, give me four more, four, and three, two, and one. Now, that left leg comes back behind you. Bend both legs. And all you're gonna do is a little, remember the old uh, lawn mowers where you had to pull the cord <laughs> to get it to start? Okay, so this is our lawn mower pull, okay? So you have your left arm here in front and you're just gonna drive the elbow back. Drive the elbow back, okay? Rather than having to stop for too long and grab the weight. We already had it ready to go in our hand. Okay, good job. Oh, the time goes by so fast. We could just keep going for another hour, right? <laughs> okay, let's try four more here. And then there's four. And three. Two. One, beautiful. Okay, let's do the other side. Move my big head chair and we have the hip abduction so the the hip has to work hard right to contract or pull up your leg and now I have a little bit of weight on it so it has to work a little harder so here we go and we're lifting up of course it's not necessary if you don't have the weight or you'd rather not of course you do not have to yeah it's all good depending on where you are in your fitness okay just imagine you're just pushing that leg away in water if you're in the pool this is a nice one to do just getting that hip to work good job everybody and we're almost there good 
Today, well, I, I uh, you know, did the chair exercises, which I normally do not do. So if you enjoyed that, please let me know. Or if you'd rather not, that's fine too. <laughs> okay, and we're holding it down. Now you're gonna take that leg back behind you. And we're gonna pull that lawnmower uh, cord. Here we go, and pull it back. One, and two, three, and four. Good job, keep going. This is for your upper back muscles and such a great exercise to do. Very functional. Okay, good. And pull. You know, uh, for this particular class, I know we have, um, you know, more mature clientele for this, which is wonderful. Let's get two more. And um, a lot of times, Go ahead and rest. A lot of times people will come to me and say, you know, my doctor said I need more weight-bearing exercises. My doctor said I need to uh, increase my bone density, so I need to start walking. Yes, walking is a wonderful exercise, definitely. But when you do exercises that really target the hips um, or target specific areas, you're gonna get even more out of that course walking is a wonderful, wonderful exercise. So I'm not trying to you know, throw, throw that one out. Absolutely still walk. But when it comes to bone density specifically, the best thing you can do is lift weights. Lift weights. I promise you, you're not gonna turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, you're, you are going to build bone density and strength. So I know I probably mentioned this time and time again, but when you are working with a weight, okay, your muscle has to contract shorten and then it lengthens right and here's your shortening here's your lengthening so every time it shortens it's pulling from the bone the muscle fibers are pulling from the bone your bone thinks it's getting attacked it's getting beaten up it's, it's something wrong right it's not wrong but what happens the bone is signaling that it needs more nutrients it needs more nutrients and it needs to get stronger because the muscle keeps pulling and so in preparation for another strength training exercise, your bones start to become stronger because they know that they're gonna have this work done. So super important so that you strength train at least three times a week. If you can do three times a week, that would be super fantastic for you, I promise you. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. You did a fabulous job today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please be sure to hydrate and I will see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m. for improving your stability and strength. Alrighty, bye-bye, have a nice day, thank you.